All right, so this video is about finding the trigonometric uh, value or the ratio uh, given the angle. Um, and I did a tutorial video about kind of breaking it down slowly here, uh, but I'm going to go a little faster in these two. So if you're looking for a little bit slower paced, I would suggest you find uh, this uh, intro video to this. Okay, so cosecant theta. So that, that implies that you know what CSC means. Um, cosecant, whenever you see that, is the, a reciprocal function. Meaning, it's the if you flip one of the sine, cosine, or tangents over, that's the reciprocal. It's it's cosecant. So the way I remember it is, if it says co CSC or cosecant, that means the reciprocal won't have a co in front of it. So it's either sine or tangent, but obviously tangent would be cotangent. So if it's cosecant, the reciprocal is sine. Okay. And normally when we have sine, it's opposite over hypotenuse because so katoa. But if it's cosecant, all we do is flip it over. So when we have our answer, we'll eventually get there. Cosecant is actually hypotenuse over opposite. So let's keep that in mind when we're getting our final answer. So that's step number one. Step two here is uh, so negative 765. Uh, notice how it goes around once, twice, full two rotations. To make this easier on ourselves, let's go ahead and get rid of those extra rotations because we don't need all of them. Uh, so negative 675 plus 720 actually gives me 45 degrees, okay? Meaning, after I passed the 360 mark the second time, 720, it went 45 degrees more past it. So that means my reference angle closest to the origin that I uh, made my triangle with is going to be 45 degrees. Hey, that means this is 45 degrees. Hey! That means we have a special right triangle. So I know that my side lengths on my 45, 45, 90 are 1, and my hypotenuse is radical 2. But remember, we must be aware of what quadrant we're in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, the x values are positive, right? Because all the values on the right side of the y axis are positive. And all the values below the x axis and the y values would be negative. So that length is negative 1. So the x value is positive 1, the y value is negative 1, and the hypotenuse is always positive, it's radical 2. Okay, and now we have to do our trig function from the reference angle. I like labeling, so negative 1 is my opposite, 1 is my adjacent, and radical 2 is my hypotenuse. And I did all my work over here. Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, h over o, so hypotenuse is radical 2, opposite is negative 1. So, technically, you can leave it like that, radical 2 over negative 1, but they'll probably like to see it as negative radical 2. Just negative radical 2 is fine. All right? Just for completeness, you would take the negative out of the bottom. And so, negative radical 2 would be cosecant of that angle, negative uh, 765. All right, now that we've done that, let's do one more together. All right, so tangent of theta. So 19 pi over 4. Okay, we've got to convert that. I like using radians. I mean, use, changing it to degrees from radians. Pi over 4 is actually 45 degrees. How do I know that? Well, if I cancel out the pi's, and then 4 goes to 180 45 times. So it's like I'm doing 19 times 45. If I'm doing my math right here, that's going to be 900 minus 45 because it's one short. Uh, it's going to be 855, right? I think I did that right. Hopefully I did that right. 855. Okay, so 855 degrees, which I notice if I go around once, twice, I can take away two rotations from that, so minus 720. Uh, it's going to give me 5, 3, 135 degrees. Okay, so that means... In the third rotation, I only win 135 degrees, meaning to complete this rotation to the nearest x-axis, which is at 180, it would be 180 minus 135 to give me my reference angle of 45 degrees. So that means my reference angle right here is 45, and that means the missing angle in that triangle is 45. Hey, it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. All right. So, uh, my legs of my right triangle are 1 and 1, hypotenuse radical 2, but of course I have to be cognizant I'm in uh, quadrant 2, which means the x value is negative, the y value is positive, and the hypotenuse always is positive. 
Okay, tangent. Now we're on to the good stuff. So tangent of theta, tangent, if we remember, Sokotoa is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so from my reference angle, which I found, positive one is the opposite, and negative one is the adjacent. So it would be 1 over negative 1, which if I reduce, of course, that would just be negative 1. So tangent of 19 pi over 4 is negative 1. Okay? So that is how we find trigonometric values with any angle.